Hi everybody, welcome back to Project Happy Home. For those of you who are new here, I'm Tanya, a doctor, lawyer, turned homeschool mom of three kids ages 12, 9, and 7. If you're interested in videos about secular homeschooling, raising a child with ADHD, and living a more sensualist lifestyle, you've come to the right place. So be sure to hit that subscribe button somewhere down below the video over there. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the insides of the super genius Wiley E. Coyote physical science books. These were given to me at a reduced price by Timberdoodle.com in exchange for my honest review. I really do appreciate it. I'm part of their um, brand ambassador team, so I like to share with you some of the products that I enjoy from them. I bought products from Timberdoodle.com far before I ever became a brand ambassador. I really like how they curate products for different grade levels. If you are interested in adding games and interactive books and things like graphic novels, these little extras into your homeschool year, Timberdoodle has done a great job of reviewing lots of new and old products and putting them into the right age levels or grade levels for you already. I really appreciate that that work is already done for me. So if you haven't checked them out yet, definitely go for it. They also offer full grade level sets in a variety of different um, price points from basic to elite. So you can check those out. They are both religious and non-religious curriculum kits. So I appreciate that versatility as well. So to get into it, my kids love graphic novels. These are fairly slender. There's about four of them. Each one is about 30 pages or so. And I'm just gonna give you a quick flip through. So you have Flight and Gravity, you have Speed and Velocity, Simple Machines, and Forces in Motion. So these books are actually included as part of Timber Doodle's second grade curriculum set. So that's around the age group we're aiming for here, though I plan on having both my older kids read them, even though my eldest is 12 because he loves comic books and they love Wiley e. Coyote in general. So if you're familiar with the comic, basically it's been around since the 40s, I believe. And Wiley e. Coyote is always trying to get Roadrunner, who is just so smart and clever and always escapes him. So it, here you have all of those jokes, like the things that happen to Wiley e. Coyote, like he's in a slingshot to try to catch Roadrunner as he passes by, but then he hits a pole. So it talks about not only um, like the the force that is needed to get there, but the three laws of motion here. An object at rest will stay at rest until a force moves it. So here's that force. An object's speed increases or decreases based on the mass and the forces acting on it. And every force has an equal and opposite force here. It also talks about acceleration here. It has funny little um, names for, for them, like speediest birdiest and hungriest carnivori. Uh, it does include little definitions along the bottom here, if you can see, where it talks about the mass is the amount of material in an object and accelerate means to increase the speed of a moving object. So it definitely goes through the science of um, the laws as well, talking about Sir Isaac Newton. It talks about the first law at length, the second law. They have a chance of learning these concepts. I'm just going to flip through quickly for you. Without... Um, making it as dry as a lot of physics books might make it. So they already understand a lot of these things from watching the cartoons, I imagine. So adding the scientific concepts behind uh, what they've already seen so many times is a nice way of cementing these ideas for them. So here you have the Simple Machines book, and you're talking about levers and fulcrums. You're talking about moving from high to low, wedges, uh, rotational motion with axles, pulleys, applied for us. And at the end of the books, you do have a glossary as well as ideas for other books to read and internet sites that you can look up. So that's a really nice little addition. So I'm just going to give you a quick flip through of speed and velocity. Same general idea. You've got lots of cartoons, not that much text per page. So especially if you have a reluctant reader who happens to be interested in these things, it really does get to the point fairly quickly. I like these little cartoon pictures, like those little chalkboard figures things. Um, my son, when he first uh, started seeing those in books, would draw them all the time on his own chalkboard in his room. So here you have air, speed, and lift, flying forces like lift and weight, thrust and drag, um, orbital velocity. So really nice, you know, short and sweet um, books that explore the ideas behind physical science for your kids. So if you have a child who's interested in graphic novels, in cartoons, in physical sciences, um, or all three, I think this would be a great set to uh, explore and peek at for your kid. 
These, These books are actually things that I like to add to grandparent gifts lists as well because it's something fun um, and lightweight and easy for them to like check out with easily on a website. It's also timberdoodle.com is also a great website to just let grandparents know about because sometimes they've forgotten or they can't tell what might be appropriate for a child at any given age and again like I said Timberdoodle makes that pretty easy. So thanks to Timberdoodle for sending me these at a reduced price. I do appreciate it and I appreciate your time as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. I realize your time is valuable and I appreciate that you choose to spend some of it on this channel. If you are interested in more science videos, be sure to check out my science playlist. I will try to link it in the description box down below. But if you go back to my actual channel page, you can look through all sorts of different playlists based on grade level as well as subject level to kind of narrow your search as to what you're looking for. So thanks again for spending some time with me, you guys. As always, I wish you the very best day.